Welcome into Max Movie Reviews. I hope you like bombs because today I'm reviewing Battleship. Get it? Yes, Max, I get it. Because the ship fires literal bombs, but it also didn't do very well at the box office. <laughs> it's so much funnier when you explain it. If you want to spend over 200 million dollars on a summer blockbuster, where do you look for inspiration? Comic books? Action franchises? Oh no, I've got an idea. How about the least fun board games that has ever existed? Battleship isn't that bad. I'd rather listen to Apple Paltrow talk to me about juice cleansers than play Battleship. And believe me, you don't know boredom until you've heard Apple lecture you on toxins for hours. Blah blah blah. Does she not shut up? Do you want to pick up that name you just dropped, Max? Shut up or I'll tell everyone about the sexy Fraggle Rock fanfic you wrote. Speaking of annoying nonsense, let's get back to the plot of Battleship. Taylor Kitsch, a rebellious bad boy, sees an uber sexy woman at a bar who really wants a chicken burrito. The woman is played by Brooklyn Decker, who I'm sure is afraid of even smelling a chicken burrito. Taylor tries to impress her by breaking into a convenience store to get her the burrito, but then he gets tased by the cops a bunch of times and his brother makes him join the navy. Max, I've told you this before, you can't just make up the plots to movies. No Hans, that's the actual plot! Someone wrote that! In a much more sensible plot development, alien ships crash into Earth and create a force field around Hawaii. Luckily for Earth, Taylor Kitsch's ship is inside the force field, and if anyone knows how to fight aliens, it's John Carter himself. That's a totally different movie. Believe me, it's a lot more fun if you pretend he's John Carter the whole time. When did we decide that Taylor Kitsch was a major action star? Oh, remember that guy from Friday Night Lights, a show that barely anyone watched? Let's put him in two movies that cost over 200 million dollars. Jeez, and you Americans wonder why your economy is in the toilet. Oh, you're going to hate on America now? Call me when your people stop causing world wars. That's Germany, not Austria. Germany has the ideas and we just tag along. There's a Matt Damon to a Ben Affleck. But that world war stuff reminds me. The most ludicrous part of Battleship is in the last line of defense against the aliens is a bunch of ancient war veterans from the so-called greatest generation. If by greatest you mean most likely to forward me misinformed emails about Barack Obama then sure, let's call them the greatest generation. Did you like anything about the movie? I loved the aliens! If you've ever wondered what the offspring of Fred Durst and a porcupine would look like, you love these aliens. Also, let's take a moment to acknowledge a star being born. I refer, of course, to Rihanna. Rihanna makes her totally bland token female soldier role pretty interesting. But I must admit, she made me a little nervous. Considering the way the aliens tried to destroy her, I was pretty sure she'd eventually forgive them and try to date them. We found love on a battleship! We found love on a battleship! Ugh. Oh, we're gonna hear about that one in the comments. So, I give this movie the biggest, stinkiest, dirty diaper rating. Please don't make me watch it again, in order to make it like the board games I spent 30 minutes looking at blinking lights on a grid. <laughs> It'll put you in the biggest Hawaiian coma since George Clooney's wife and the descendants. What board game do you think should be adapted into a movie next? Tell me in the comments below. I'm uber close to getting Mark Zuckerberg to finance a Settlers of Catan movie. We're good friends. <coughs> Name dropper. You don't get to 500 million friends without making a few puppet enemies. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! How about a clap? Yeah! Oh, good job! Yeah. All together. <laughs> Where's the cute boy? Oh, there's the cute boy! You're getting slobbery.